and Venus. <coughs> you are at the beach with your friends on spring break. You are enjoying the sun when you notice that someone in the water has been caught up in the undertow and is struggling to get above water. There is no lifeguard on duty, so you need to rescue them. When you get them out of the water, you realize that they are unconscious, not breathing, and have no pulse. You start CPR on them, and they cough up water and start to breathe again. You realize that you just saved a life. That being said, CPR is a skill that is necessary when it comes to saving lives. According to the American Heart Association, CPR is known as cardiopulmonary resuscitation. It is important because it can keep the blood flow active, even partially. This extends the opportunity for a successful resuscitation once trained medical staff have arrived on site. Today, I will be discussing how CPR is a necessary skill that I believe we all should know. The less people that are certified, the less likely it will be that someone will get their life saved if they are in need. According to the Zach Sahili Surefire CPR, cardiac arrest is an electrical malfunction of the heart that occurs due to an irregular heartbeat. When this happens, the pumping action of the heart is unexpectedly disrupted and the heart cannot pump blood to the vital organs. Thus, a cardiac arrest victim instantly becomes unresponsive. And if an individual does not relieve, receive CPR in the first few minutes after cardiac arrest, he or she could potentially die. This means that the people saved that the less people that are saved, the less people that will learn that these things actually do happen in life. This means that we need a solution to this problem. Getting CPR certified will limit the amount of deaths throughout the world. If someone is CPR certified, they will be able to prevent various deaths. According to heart.org, Effective bystander CPR provided immediately after sudden cardiac arrest can double or even triple a victim's chance of survival, but only 32% of cardiac arrest victims get CPR from a bystander. This needs to change. You could be at the mall, park, grocery store, or even at home and need to perform CPR. It can really happen anywhere. As I said before, increasing the amount of people who are CPR certified will decrease the amount of unnecessary deaths throughout the world. It is common for people who are CPR certified to be a little nervous because you can hurt the person or even get sued by the person you are attempting to resuscitate. According to Dr. Mary Williams of CPRcertified.com, it is unlikely but someone can sue you for taking action on them. Good Samaritan laws vary by state, but as but all have protections for bystanders delivering CPR. As long as you're responding just the way a reasonable person would, providing care to your level of training, and are not being compensated for your actions, these laws should protect you from a lawsuit. I would also add that saving a life would be much more important than the fear of breaking a rib. As I said before, it is very important to be CPR certified. According to Cleveland Clinic, slightly over half of Americans, 54% to be exact, claim that they know how to perform CPR. However, only one in every six people know that the recommended technique for bystander CPR consists of just chest compressions, no rescue breaths on an adult. I believe that these numbers can raise if there is mandatory CPR classes in high schools and even in some colleges. According to PulseCPR.com, many people worry about using valuable class time to teach students CPR. It is important for kids to be taught math, science, history, etc. 
but it is also very important for kids to know how to save a life if it ever comes down to that. Fortunately, CPR skills can be taught in just a few hours. I myself am a lifeguard in which I have to be CPR certified. I became, when I became CPR certified, it took about three days of one hour training and a test afterwards in which you have to pass in order to be certified. Overall, my certification took about four days in total. This is not something that is unachievable. Schools could take an hour out of each day for one week and all kids would be able to save a life if it ever came down to it. Or schools could incorporate training into an, a health or science class that is mandatory for each person to graduate. There is many different ways in which this can be easily achieved. I'm, or, I learned this skill in high school and it is still very valuable to me today. If I weren't CPR certified, I would not have the knowledge that I do today about saving lives. Being CPR certified is a very important and valuable skill that I believe we all should obtain. Whether you believe it or not, everyone has at least one moment in their lives that changes them forever. If you can, let that moment change you positively rather than negatively. In my personal experience, when I was a senior in high school, I was at the public pool with no lifeguard on duty. A little boy that could not swim fell in the deep end with no floaties and started drowning. Before his parents noticed, he was unconscious. He got picked up out of the water and it seemed as if no one knew what to do. So I ran over and started giving rescue breaths and performing CPR. And eventually, eventually the boy coughed up water and, and is alive today. Thank you.